white flag raised. And that off over six furlongs, two slow starters, Mount Parnassus and Refreshment. This is the Cadine Hotel EBF Maiden, and his whistle jacket, the leader, followed by Wizard of Oz, alongside his divine genius, followed by Spartan Soldier and Keith Alnex with Pleasant Dawn. And these are tracked in these early stages by Sunrise on the Boyne. Continuing on towards the end of the opening quarter of a mile, and his whistle jacket leading Natalie, Divine Genius, being followed by Keith Hall. Right in behind them is Wizard of Oz, along with Spartan Soldier, Pleasant Dawn, pushed along as Sunrise on the Boyne, being followed by Coward of the County, and then Velvet Falls, with at the back of the field both Mount Parnassus and Refreshment. They've passed halfway in his whistle jacket, continuing in front on the stand side for Ryan Moore, being followed by Spartan Soldier, Wizard of Oz is next. In the center of the track is Pleasant Dawn with picking up Card of the County. After them is Velvet Falls with Sunrise on the Boyne. But it's Whistle Jacket, the leader, racing to the final furlong, being followed by Card of the County, who's coming to challenge, and these two have kicked away from the remainder, and it's Card of the County getting on top from Whistle Jacket, six cleared of the third, and it is Card of the County. It's a good opening for Dylan Brown, McMonigle, and Joseph O'Brien. Card of the County won well by three from Whistle Jacket, clear of Mount Parnassus. Well, favourite beaten once again and beaten by a Joseph O'Brien horse, ridden by Dylan Brown McMonigle. They double up at the Curra. It was a nice performance from Coward of the County, who got to um, the fast and quite uh, free going favourite out in front, although Whistlejacket did shape with plenty of promise, I thought, perhaps just shaped like.